The zoo is, is a place that I came as a child. As a child, I used to come here with my grandparents and my parents. I especially remember uh, visiting the, uh, the hippo. I am in love with the gorillas. What was once an old zoo become so lush and gorgeous is just so heartening. And for me as a PR person, a great sell. It is an extraordinary place unlike any other place on this earth. You can see so many different worlds combined into one. Our job here, anybody who works at the zoo, is to be the storytellers for these animals. For a lot of people in this side of town, it's really the zoo is their playground. When the Friend Playground came, it was so transformative. The playground was actually named uh, for Eleanor Friend, my mom. My mom wanted to make sure that kids could come out to the zoo. When I can see that playground full like that, that is a special place. I love how they kept that carousel the same because every time I look at it, I see a little version of myself and a little version of my brother. It reminds me of artisanal experiences that are disappearing. We had a very challenging time and Tanya became the executive director when she came here, the zoo was in, reputation-wise, a pretty bad place. But she has become, I think, one of the most respected zoo directors in the nation. She is a catalyst for change. She's an innovator. She's a visionary. You think of animals here as thriving, not just surviving. So I hope what I do is not leave behind a thing, but a greater idea of what a zoo can be. The zoo is 90 years of wonder. I think 90 years of smiles. It's 90 years of giving back. The zoo is everything that you want it to be and more than you can imagine what it could be. I love the zoo.